We had 18,000 people here tonight. A full, we had a full sellout tonight. There wasn't one ticket left in the place. Thank you, Dallas. Texas is always very good to us. The, uh, the gate was $2.66 million. Um, performance of the night was, uh, no, the, the fight of the night was Sherman, Sherman and Colter, obviously, the heavyweights. Uh, performance bonuses go to Steve Miocic and Jason Knight. Congrats. 50000 for all those guys. <clears throat> Who has the first? My man. That's um. Dana. Um, tonight was obviously the biggest card of the year so far. Did it live up to expectations in your mind? I thought so. It was a great card. I mean, all the prelims were incredible. The main card was good. Um, you know, heavyweight knockout in the first round. Joanna you know, check performed surgery tonight. Uh, Frankie Yeager showed it ain't over. You know, sent the young guy back to the back to the drawing board. Um, Jason Knight kid is nasty and unbelievably technical, and the heavyweights were fun. I mean, the list goes on and on. The women fight was fun, Aguilar, and uh, yeah, yeah. Um, let me ask you about the uh, the Poirier Alvarez situation because it ended in a no contest. It seemed like there was some controversy. Why wasn't it a DQ? Mm -hmm. uh, kind of a two part question. What did you think of the result, and is that a possibility you'd want to run that back? Lorenzo Fertitta texted me tonight and said, "You guys got to get instant replay." Because that was the wrong call, and you know, you need to work on that. He's still telling me what to do. Um, the heavyweight division has been so tough. I mean, right now, Stipe just tied the record, which is two, which is crazy when you think crazy. about it. But I mean, the crazy. five straight knockouts, four potential Hall of Famers that he's knocked out. I mean, do you feel like, and I know it's tough to predict, but do you feel like Stipe could be the guy that finally breaks through? He's looking like the man. Um, Cleveland's killing it right now. He's, uh, yeah, he's not the same fighter that obviously that, that fought him the first time. Uh, super athletic. He stays in the pocket now and, and, and punches with big guys. Um, lightning fast. He's, he's a complete fighter and a really good athlete. I know Damian Maya came over to you in the corner after his win, asked you for the title shot. You said you got it. Uh, but even here, he sat down. He said, you know, I've been told that before, you know, that I thought I was going to get it, and I didn't get it. Um, when was he told that before? Who he told said, him that? <laughs> he said, <laughs> but... Uh, get out of here. <laughs> Listen, I was thinking about this when I talked to some of the media here yesterday. <clears throat> you know, everybody, there was a lot of guys talking about deserve, deserve. Nobody deserves anything. you got to earn it here. You know what I mean? It's like these guys want to sit around. you got Rockhold right now screaming, I deserve this. You just got knocked out in the first round. You don't deserve anything. you got to come back and earn it. Um, you know, and, 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 and Maya earned it tonight. Yeah. Last one for me, you can't go five feet without somebody asking about Mayweather McGregor. So I'm going to be the, the guy, uh, you said tomorrow you're hoping to wrap up Connor. Um, are you, are you flying to meet with him? Are you talking no. to him over the phone or how, how, how are you doing this? No, no, we're, 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 we're right there. I'm, ex I'm expecting an executed agreement tomorrow. So, and then I'll start working with team Mayweather next week. And you went from, you know, you playing for the Patriots more likely than this fight. How? Just well, in your, still, I mean, look, look at, in your we're, head. We're, I mean, we're just it? getting this deal done with Connor. What do you think the Mayweather side is going to be like? And how much time do you think I'm going to spend on this? You know, we're going to give it. Connor's going to. We're going to give done. it a shot, huh? You figure Connor will get done? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess just to follow up there. How much time would you spend on it? Because I know you said. It's kind of know. impeding it, the rest it, of your it business. It depends on how ridiculous right. it is. You know it what I mean? It's going to be profitable for you as well. well yeah, but it, the question is how profitable. You know, you, you can assume how many buys you're going to do. There's no guarantee. <clears throat> Every time you put on a pay-per-view, it's a roll of the dice. You don't know what's going to happen. So, uh, yeah, you don't know. There's some fights that you do know, and this feels like one of those fights that should do that, but you never know. I do want to follow up on the Alvarez Poirier situation as well. You know, Lorenzo saying you need to get instant replay. I, I just wonder. Obviously, you say all the time we're governed. It's the commissions. It's not us. But are, are there things you can do? Steps you can take? You know, it, it say we're not. You know, we're in this weird position right now where we don't even have unified rules. We've yeah. got different rules everywhere. Well, we're we go. the guys that are driving the bus. We're the guys that gotta that have to figure this out. None of the other promotions out there are gonna do it. You know what I mean? We we've been the one that have led the charge on everything that's happened in this sport. So. We will continue to do that. Would you ever take steps to say, like, hey, listen, we're not, we're not going to go to a place that has old rules, or we're not going to go to a place that doesn't have, uh, you know, instant replay or something like that? Could you take steps like that to help kind of maybe move things along? No, I don't want to limit myself to where I'm going to go, but, you know, 
We just, we just got to figure this stuff out. And it's crazy as you know, you got to remember the sport's 17 years old. I mean, that's really, that's really it. So there's, there's, there's a lot of things that need to be fixed and things that need to be worked on. It's, this whole sport's still a huge work in progress. I did want to ask you about UN as well. You said how great she looked tonight. It seemed like this week she was really getting that star treatment. Like maybe people are finally coming around on what she's capable of. With Ronda kind of out of the picture for the time being, do you think she's capable of being kind of that face of women's MMA that, that we seem to always seek out? She's, she's got a great personality. She's, she's awesome, and she's so technical and so badass. And some people have different paths. It takes a little longer, but, you know, she keeps doing what she's doing. Yeah, I do believe that. With you introducing the 125 division, she told us this week, she said, listen, I'm not going to go on tough, obviously, but I, I want to go after that belt, too. I want to do two belts. I know you said in the past you don't want divisions held up, but as special as she is, would you let her chase that to maybe go after two divisions? Well, I would imagine what she would do is she would probably break Ronda Rousey's record at 115 and then probably go for the 25-pound for the uh, weight class. And as we've seen in the past, once you uh, get, to, to get to that number, it, you don't really want to cut to 115 again, you know? Plus... You know, you don't get any younger. You just keep getting older. And, um, yeah, I, I bet she would go to 25 after breaking the record. And last thing for me, Stipe has looked so fantastic over the last year. He's <coughs> on a hell of a run. What do you see right now in the in the heavyweight division? You've got a big fight coming up with, with Overeem and Doom in the summer. Uh, I mean, are you kind of looking at that right now as probably the number one contender fight? you got Kane out there, but I don't know when he's coming back. I mean, yeah. what, what are you looking for? I think Kane's looking to come back in the fall. So we'll, we'll see how that plays out and how the other fight plays out, and we'll go from there. Sir, back here. Yep. Another incredible event in Dallas, Texas. Thank you, sir. I've been to every single one that you've had. Thank you. They keep getting better and better. Are we ever going to get Cowboys Stadium, or have we moved on past No, that? no. We've talked to them all the time. Those guys are really good to us, and, and uh, we like them very much. You saw the, a lot of Cowboys here tonight, and um, the answer is yes. Just got to be the right, the right fight, you know, at the right time. And we will hear. do it. That'd be awesome. I mean, that's one of my things that I would love to do. I wanted MSG, you know, I wanted some of these famous arenas around the world, and, and, and I want Dallas. <clears throat> Glad to hear it, sir. And one last question. Are you going to show us any love down in San Antonio? We haven't seen you there for a while. Yeah, hey, let me tell you what, brother. I would come to Texas every weekend, man. Texas is always good to us. We, we kill it here every time we come. The fans here are amazing, and, and the answer is hell yes. We will be get back in Texas soon. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Dana, Dana, right up, right here. Yep. Hey. How you doing? Right, that was easy. <laughs> um, you know, all these titles are subjective, best of all time, but, you know, if Stipe wins his next fight, where, wherever it is and whoever, whoever it's against, uh, will that cement him as the greatest heavyweight of all time? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, three, three will do it. <laughs> uh, that's pretty crazy, but, but yeah, it would be tough to say he's not after defending the title three times. Um, and if he gets beyond that, he's a fucking amazing Hall of Famer, I guess. It's, it's crazy. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that. I thought Kane had held the belt longer until, you know, uh, we found out that uh, it was two. When you watch him, four straight bouts, per, four straight first-round KOs, you know, what, what, what comes to your mind when you, when, when you watch him just tearing through these opponents. Well, the guys, the guys come into his own. He's he's he's, a, he's an unbelievable fighter. If you look at his last war that he had, and he loses, you know, by by close decision, and then comes out and he's knocked out everybody since then, including, you know, the last guy he lost to in a five round war. He's pretty he's pretty badass. Last thing, uh, it, does the Overeem Verdum winner get Stipe next? Uh, I I don't know. We'll see what happens. They're giving me the hook for the champ here. Um.